Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One, and we're starting the timer. We are. 10 Minutes or Less. Boom. All right, TNT. Uh, yeah. did, did, uh, have you ever uh, got. I know you haven't been on an airplane a lot of times, so I, I kind of know the answer to this. Don't but. make me sound poor on the podcast. <laughs> wow. Goes right to poor because you don't get on an airplane. I ha- rode a plane. Have you ever? <laughs> I rode a plane. <laughs> have you ever been on an airplane with a celebrity? No. I, well, how would I know? They're in first class. They board like before everybody, and you know. no, not necessarily. But really? like I, uh, one time when I was flying home from Austin okay. to Ohio, oh Jesus! One of the girls from Teen Mom was on. Was two like three seats behind me. That is not a celebrity, it, right? Exactly. But she literally. <laughs> She literally would not stop talking the entire flight to whoever, mm. and she was just like, all I remember, she was standing in the, we, we had like a 7 a.m. flight, mm. and she was standing in the food court, which was barely, well, one place was open, because, you know, that early nothing's open in the airport, mm. in a mother effing kimono, Hell yeah. like, like barely covering her booty. Represent. And then she was on the, on the plane talking to some old dude who was trying to flirt with her. Oh, and, hell yeah, dude. Did he get and, it? And she was just like, I'm going to open a restaurant that's strawberry everything. It's going to be strawberry on this. And, stra-. and like, I just remember being like, oh, my Lord. She just would not shut her mouth. What's, what's the, wait, what's the name of the restaurant? I, I don't even think it ever opened because she's. <laughs> strawberry yeah. dreams. Um, but anyways, that that isn't what this is about. So what? the other day, <laughs> what about. the other day, Mike Tyson was on a flight. Did you hear about this? Uh, I don't know if I've heard this one. So Maybe. Mike Tyson was on a flight, and it, it was a JetBlue flight, and I think they don't have first class, so he was just flying, right? Okay. The guy behind him either threw a water bottle over the seat on him or spilled wa- water Why? on him. He stood you? up and started punching the dude. Oh, like, there's yeah. a TMZ video of him, yeah. like, just swinging on a mother effer behind, to the seat behind yeah. him. And, like, someone's going, Mike, 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 Mike. <laughs> and hey. And you know what? You got to do what you got to do sometime. I'm not mad at Mike Tyson. Like, if somebody dumped water on you, like. Yeah. Like, I, actually, I, I did hear the story, actually. My question is, why would you ever mess with Mike Tyson? He's, like, 55. He's still Mike Tyson. Yeah, I'm not fighting Mike Tyson at 50. I'm not fighting Mike at 60. I'm not. No. I'm just not doing it. And this is funny because this is uh, the second incident that's happened with Mike Tyson in within the last month, actually. Uh, I think just recently he got into an incident where a person, he was at some kind of a, a publicity uh gathering or something and some guy pulled out a gun and said that he wanted to get a picture of mike tyson and mike tyson actually calmed the guy he took the guy off the ledge of like brandishing this weapon to like he sat him down was like are you sure this is what you want to do and you know there's no reason for the gun and the guy was like oh cool it's mike tyson and you know he he calmed down a little bit wait he so he was like he wanted a picture so he decided he would like at Yes. He would like rob him for a picture. I don't know. I think like the security was like, no, Mike is busy or whatever. So he pulled the gun out on security guy. He's like, no, I want a picture. I mean, hey, what? Well, I, I want to see the fear in his eyes in this picture. Hey, look, guarantee you way to get a picture of me. Pull a gun on me. You know, I'm gonna. You got. Hey, you got it. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> hey, a picture. picture. Hey, happy. I'm happy. So I'm not, happy. I'm not saying do that. I'm just saying is that it does work. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess. Hey, you know what? Getting most things in in this life, you pull a gun on somebody, hell yeah, you get what you want. It works. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you do. Yeah, you get what you want in the short term. Yeah, if you're going by results, 100% pull the the gun on me. The hastiness of the result. (laughs) Yes, pulling a gun is the quickest way to get what you want. Um, Yeah, exactly. Uh, You know how you kill every germ in the the human body? You don't just just drink a bottle of bleach. Oh, yeah, exactly. Every Every germ, even the good ones. It works. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever uh have you ever met a celebrity in real life? COVID relief. What? Have, um have I ever met a celebrity in real or life? Or been somewhere and there's been a celebrity, not that you cared to go, but like, you know, have you ever been somewhere and like been like, oh so honestly, I'm I don't know, man. I'm not really like a big on celebrity, so I'm not like going yeah, to a neither. celebrity event trying to find them or anything. Right. Though uh I did meet uh Jason Muse one time at a an event he was having it done, like an independent film. At a, uh, there was like a horror convention. Oh, so it was like a horror con. It was a horror convention. The movie wasn't even a horror movie. It was just an independent film, but he was there. Okay. uh, He was signing stuff for free. 
and uh, had him sign a copy of Dogma for me that I still have to this day. Oh, that's awesome. So I have a signed copy of Dogma. When I got up to him, I think I've told the story before. Too. I think you have. That's all right. When I got up to him, I was like, I'm, so, I'm, a, I'm a really big fan, obviously, because that's what you say, I guess. Um, uh, I'm a really big fan, um, and I was just wondering, if you were presented with a penis, would you sign a penis? And... You got you to gotta realize how I look, too. Like, I'm this big, I'm like a big, I don't know, I guess I'm intimidating people tell me that. I'm kind of scary. I don't know. I'm scary looking on paper, but, like, you know, <laughs> behind the scenes, you guys know me well enough where you know I'm not. And he's like, he just looks at me, and he's like, um, I'm not signing your penis, dude. <laughs> Like I'm like all right I'm I'm joking obviously I don't want him to sign my penis that's that's not cool and then he asked me to sign it too and I said super pimp so the copy of Dogma I have says super pimp I like women super pimp I like women Jason Muse <laughs> nice nice that's yeah. cool I uh, when I was uh, I was younger I I uh, I met uh, Fred Durst when he before he before like before Limp Bizkit even made before even like my way or the highway yeah. back like when they had like one CD oh, out geez. before you even knew he was like a d bag and uh, and I knew he was a d bag automatically because he signed his, <laughs> he signed he signed my Ozfest ticket he signed our Ozfest he was out in the crowd at Ozfest yeah. and uh, he signed his autographs Fred sucks and no, I was like but Fred Fred it. sucks with an X. And I was like, this dude, this dude, this dude's a d bag. And obviously, he turned out to be one. Um, so I met him, unfortunately. And uh, one time when uh, when I uh, was in Vegas coming home, uh, we met Flavor Flav in the airport. He was walking around with a clock hanging around. Like I was sitting there waiting for my thing, and like. I saw a man with a clock on his neck walking around. I'm like, there's no one else that could be. <laughs> or and he is who would want to be that? Very tiny man. Yeah, he's small. He's he is man. so small. You'd be surprised how many celebrities are like actually like like very tiny people. Yeah, yeah. Like so, Danny DeVito. Did you know he's really short? Yeah, he's only yeah he's only like four foot eleven or something. Yeah, like, he's uh, yeah yeah it's crazy. He's Kevin really, Hart. Do you know he's like really short? Yeah, I knew that too. Yeah, like that's, Wee Man, dude. That's the joke. Wee Man, obviously think, very short. Yeah, Wee Man is a small man did not know that rest in peace but apparently he's, he's alive by the way oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> i meant uh, Vern troyer Vern troyer did yeah, you know Vern, he was yeah, short? yeah 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 he's a short guy yeah, too so but those i think are the only two so, like yeah i don't ever hunt down or like let's stay outside like what i remember when i was in high school like i we would like hang out after like the band show and be like oh maybe we can get the band to sign our shirt or whatever but like <laughs> like i had uh two members of a uh, coal chamber sign my shirt one time because they came out after the show coal chamber that but, is the name and, and i did meet mindless self indulgence one time too oh, actually twice right. i met them yeah okay Okay, those yeah. are those are both names that have no relevance. Exactly. In well, what was kind of cool about the mindless self indulgence is we met them. They got booed off the stage because they were opening for somebody. Yeah. And we and they were behind the bleachers and we were just back there talking to them because whoever was on stage sucked. And we I went and saw them as the headliner a few weeks late, but yeah, a few months later. And they like they remembered me. They're like, oh hey dude, I remember we were behind the bleachers and we were talking about whatever. And I was like, oh that's weird. I was just some random kid <laughs> that like and you were i was like oh that was kind of cool and then yeah then, <laughs> and then they became nothing so yeah then they became matter. nothing so there's not really even a cool story yeah, about i that. mean they had some questionable language in some of their songs anyway and i'm not sure if it would have resonated and with. one time when i was in vegas i saw a camera crew following these two blonde chicks around that like they were probably doing a reality show but i don't know who they were or what they did but i imagine they were they were trying to be famous but probably didn't get there i think it's crazy how a lot of like those sh those shows and like uh those type of activities happen like literally just like out in the open, like where you could just be walking and end up on a TV show. You know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we were just walking down the old strip at Vegas and there was like these three camera guys and light men following these two hot blonde chicks around. Like I only saw them from <laughs> behind because they were walking into a uh, down the road and into a casino. Mm -hmm. But I was like, oh, this is they're just filming a show like and I'm like, this is weird. Yeah. Hmm. And then one of my friends tried to put. No, I'm joking. I did have a friend saying that, like, he used to, and I don't know this, like, maybe you'll know this, he he would carry pocket change, and then he would, like, hold it in his hand and jingle it to, like, try, he's like, man, this is how you get the girl's attention out here. Like, and he would, what? like, and then he would, and then he would, like, 
<laughs> and then he would shake it and he would like throw it on the ground. <laughs> what? I don't know, dude. He was it was weird. Dude. What did what did he think? Like, did he think that women were like infants? Like, I don't you jingle know. your keys in front of them and then they're gonna come over and ask you for your number? And find... I don't know, but I mean, is that how you interest them in your DNA genetic yeah, makeup? Yeah, by... change it, ca- it catches their jingle oh, buttons girl, on fire. He he must make money because I hear that change in his pocket. That sounds like forty eight cents. <laughs> Right, and he's tell. almost 50 cent at this point, so he might as well. Yeah, I yeah. can tell. So, anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please go to thecrazydown.com and subscribe for Jonas. Yeah, uh, we out.